Hello and welcome to my winter warmer series. My name is Sim and in this episode I'm going to be taking you through a classic fish pie. We're going to start the fish pie um, by making an infused milk. So in here I've just got some fish skin that came off of the smoked haddock that you'll see us using in a bit, some celery, carrots, some parsley stalks, a couple of peppercorns and an onion. Everything's been really roughly chopped because you're not going to use any of this, it's going to be thrown away in the end. So all I do is start with some milk, I just use enough to cover it and then this milk will soak up all of the flavours and we're going to use it in the white sauce that we make. So we'll drain all of these ingredients out afterwards. So all you need to do is set this aside for half an hour, let all the ingredients infuse in, and then we'll move on to straining it and making a white sauce. Once the milk is infused with all the ingredients, it's time to move on and make the white sauce. It needs to be really rich and creamy, and the best way to start is with a nice bit of butter. So you'll need to put the butter in the pan and melt it slowly over a low heat, and be sure not to burn it. Then it's time to add the flour, and you need to do this bit by bit, and make sure you stir it into the sauce really well, because you don't want it to be lumpy. The next thing you'll need to do is drain the milk, which has been infused with all of the ingredients. You can set those ingredients aside or put them in the bin, you'll no longer need them. And you'll use this milk to add to your white sauce. Now again, you need to do this bit by bit, like the flour, stirring it in really well to make sure there are no lumps. Season with salt and pepper, and then you can set that aside for the next step. I've just diced some uh, fish into kind of inch cubes. We've got three different kinds of fish here. I've got cod, a smoked haddock, and also salmon. But you can feel free to mix it up and use whichever fish you like, or whatever you have. Um, all you need to do to that is add some roughly chopped parsley. You don't want it too thin or finely chopped, because you want to make sure you're getting all the flavor in there. And also, it's quite a nice texture to have in there too. So once you've done that, just pop it in. And then on top of that, the white sauce. So all you need to do is mix it all together in this lovely creamy sauce. Once that's all mixed together, you can just get your dish ready and pop it all in. And then once that's all in there, you can add the prawns and just spread them around slightly. The next step is the eggs. Now I've hard boiled three eggs, which are ready. You just need to chop the eggs. I tend to chop them into quarters. That way they're a nice size and hopefully with every bit that somebody gets, every portion, they'll have a little bit of egg in there. I line them up like soldiers, but you don't need to. You can just throw them in anyway. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. And just a final couple of ones on here. And if you like this recipe and you'd like more recipes from the Winter Warmer series, please subscribe and do leave your comments. We always want to know what you think. That's all done now and we just need to pop some mashed potato on the top, maybe some grated cheese and it goes in the oven for 30 minutes at 200 degrees. The fish pie is just out of the oven and the cheese has gone all lovely and brown on the top and it's been bubbling over. It's a great dish served with peas, it's really nice to have something green in there because it's a really, really indulgent pie. If you like this recipe, please come back and see us again for another episode of my Winter Warmers. Mm -hmm.